In this video, we're going to look at another magic triangle problem. In a related problem, we talk about this question, fill 1 to 6 into the circles below, such that the sum of each side is 10. And we consider that problem using the approach of trying those extreme values. In here, the problem is slightly harder. It will say fill in 1 to 6 inter circles such that the sum of each side is identical. 10 is one such value. Now the question, this question asked is in total how many different values of the sum is possible? We know if the sum is 10, it's possible. Now the question is, is 9 possible, 8 possible, or is 11 possible, 12 possible? The question asks how many possible values of the sum is possible? And then, I guess for each of the possible value, being possible, you have to find a way of placing 1 to 6 into these six circles. So similar to the other problem, again the approach here is really consider the extreme values. Considering extreme values and using logic deductions to arrive at certain conclusions. And then for those conclusions, or I would say hypothesis before we have a conclusion, hypothesis, and then you have to try to see, to verify if those uh, hypotheses are correct. So consider extreme values. What are extreme values? The smallest is one. The largest, that's its minimal. Six is the maximum. Okay. So let's think about for each of side, what is the smallest value possible? Think about each of the side. If you have a one on that side, so for the side, have a 1. For the side having 1, the maximum value it can go is 1 plus 2 other numbers. The largest it can go is 5 and the 6. So the largest it can go is 12. Okay? So we know that for each of the side, the maximum it can go is at most 12. So the side, the sum, is going to be less than or equal to 1 plus 5 plus 6 equal 12. Why this? Because we have to put 1 somewhere. And for the 1, that side is going to be at most 12. How about the minimal value of the sum? For the side, having six. Let's consider that the side have six. For that side, the sum is going to be at least six plus the other two values as it's going to be at least one or two, right? So six plus one plus two has at least a nine. So you see that just from this very simple consideration, we know that the sum is going to be at the most 12 and at least 9. Okay, so the previous question that when the sum equals 10, yeah, it falls into this range and that's possible. Now the next question is, next question. Can we verify each of those values are possible? Right? This is going to be case by case. So when sum is s, let me use the sum, s represents the sum, s equals 9. 
don't forget that the constraint we are using when sum is nine, the six has to be adding one and two. So that means the six has to be inside of this triangle. So this only can be you put a. Let me actually put this. The six has to be inside. Without loss generality, we can assume the six is this circle. And it has to be one and two. Okay? By the same token for one to get eight has to be five and three. And the five cannot be here because if five is here, then five plus two, you have to put another two here. So five has to be inside here, and three is here, and this is four. So for 9, it's possible. 10, we have done that in the other video. So for reference, you can go to the other video to listen to the logic. 3, let's say s equals 12. I'm going to skip 11 and come back. For the 12, By the logic that we have used for the side having one the sum is going to be less than equal to 1 plus 5 plus 6 equal 12 so for the one it has to pair with 5 and a 6 only way so which means that one cannot be on the vertex because if it's a vertex you have to have two ways to making it 12 so one without loss generality is here and 5 and 6 without loss of generality you can put 5 here and 6 here and then for the 6 to get a 12, it has to be uh, 6 plus 2 plus 4. Can 2 be here? If it's 2, then this has to be 5. So this has to be 4, this is 2, and this is 3. Very easy. Now, the fourth case, s equals 11. Okay, the space is a little bit tight. Hopefully we'll go Okay, so for 11, we know that the sum is going to be 11. And if we think about the extreme case for 6, it only can be 6 uh, plus 2 plus 3 or 1 plus 4. For the 6, it only can be 1 plus 4 or 2 plus 3 for that side, correct? But how about for the 1? For that, only can be 4 plus 6 for the other two numbers. So that one has to be inside, this four and a six. And then the remaining is, for the six it only can be one and four and two and three. Can three be here? If it's three, this has to be a four. So it's impossible, this has two has to be here. And this is a three, and this is a five. So we have a solution for S equals 11 as well. So, for all these values, sum has to be bigger than or equal to 9, less than or equal to 12. Every value is possible to find a magic triangle. So how many values of the sum is possible? It's actually 9, 10, 11, 12. There are four possible ways. For the recap of this lecture, for those magic triangles, one very, very, very useful approach is to consider the extreme values, where you should place the extreme values. And once you place or find very limited choices for those extreme values, there you can just use try and error to get the final solutions.